Hello, Dolly Enthusiast. Requiem Devil here again, and I just wanted to invite you along with me and sew some interesting clothes for my boy Byron. I'm making them specially to show off his details in a video about his mods, but still keep them covered due to his high quality. As you can see, the typical clothing he wears is full coverage and bland. So let's give him something that will stand out and catch attention. Move your hand! First, protecting him with a layer of cling wrap so the next step doesn't strip off any of his paint. I just need to cover areas big enough for a tank top and boxer briefs, but with a little excess just as a precaution. You don't need to be pretty just still. Next we start gently wrapping him in duct tape, but I'm not comfortable with him laying on this hard surface anymore. There we go, much better. I continue wrapping him snugly in duct tape, but not tightly. If I did, it would heighten the chance I would scratch him when cutting it off later. And he would be very upset with me. Now I draw seam lines on the thigh, butt, crotch, and waist. Also marking one with the body of the tank top at. I'm going to add hems too, so I keep the shoulder areas narrow to allow for that. Again, only using half his body to make the pattern. You can't be angry, I'm not touching you. You can't be angry, I'm not touching you. Using a seam ripper, we gently and slowly cut the pattern following the main seam lines. Regardless of how careful I try to be, I'm still worried about gouging my dolls. It's just a possibility I accept while checking for damage. Cutting out the pieces, these will be our clothing pattern. I transfer them to cardstock by tracing around them, giving half inch seam allowance since that's what I'm comfortable using, and then cutting that out. Now to use these patterns to cut out the fabric. I'm using orange as a detail in his clothes along with black. Making sure to have the shirt pattern on a fold of the fabric, not to have a seam going down his chest or back. Also, knit fabrics are preferred. I'll be using an orange spandex however, and it's going to give me so much trouble. A bobbin of orange, but I have no black. Guess I have to make one. I'll be back with the tomato. Alright, let's find a bobbin right quick. I go through a lot of black thread. Okay, let's sew. I like using a piece of paper to make sure the fabric doesn't get sucked into the machine due to the tiny sizes I have to work with. We have to be careful pulling the paper apart and not pop any of the threads. Take your time here, otherwise your work might unravel later. To hem the edges and give it a bit of a stretch, I'm using a strip of fabric a little shorter than the length of the edge so it can pull together. It avoids that stretched collar look and lays flat. Using pins to make sure I keep the hem evenly spaced and no parts are excessively tight. While sewing, we gently stretch the fabric so that they are the same length but one is relaxed while the other one is tight. That way we get a gentle gathering around the hems. It gives me a stretchy piece of clothing that will hug close to Byron's body. I do this to his arms, legs, waist, and torso hems of his clothing. Yeah. Switching thread colors, we're about to stitch a line over the seam line to make the hems lay flatter. I pull the fabric apart while sewing to not lose the elasticity it has. If I just sew over it without stretching it, it will not be as elastic anymore. The neck requires a lot of pins to ensure I sew down the hem. I will be getting stabbed so much fishing up the neck hole. 
but it will be the only piece that requires this much care. Everything else is more simple to pin down. Looking pretty good. Okay, time to sew the booty shorts. Again, following the seam lines and attaching the panels together, right sides of fabric facing each other. Take time sewing on the curves. If it is rushed, it could turn out a little wonky. Main part completed. Now finish up the hems. Again, a short length of fabric is sewn to the edges, giving a snug shape. All I have to do is finish up the waistband, but let's get to the finished product. I hope you enjoyed sewing with me and would like to make something yourself. Experience is part of the work, but it's important to make the first attempt and learning from mistakes or achievements. It's useful and satisfying to create something even as basic as underwear or t-shirt. Give it a shot and don't give up even if your first attempts are not exactly what you wanted. Sew within your comfort level and build on that experience. Thank you for joining me and have a great day.